Jingi, Boo, and Nai are all indoor outdoor cats, okay? My mom let them all out one time. That same day, only Boo and Nai came back, but Jingi didn't come back. So we were like, okay, where's Jingi? So we sent Boo and Nai to go find Jingi, but they couldn't find her. So then they came back. And by this time it was like dark. We're, we didn't know where Jingi was. We were like screaming her name, couldn't find her. It was scary, it was sad. Um, we didn't know where she was. And then my brother, he lives in Europe. So he was like in a totally different time zone. He was like sleeping. It was like 9 p.m. And I was like parked in some parking lot. And then my brother texts the group chat and he's like, I just woke up. I think Chingy's in the concrete well that's in like on the second level of the house. We are like, okay. The next morning we go and she's there. Don't tell me. Yeah. He said he saw her fall in in his dream and he's like in a totally different time zone. No. Yeah. There's so no she way. was So, Kia, so, let's talk about you. Mm -hmm. Get, well, let's talk about you. Who are you? Why are you here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. This is why I do this. <laughs> this is why you don't start it off. <laughs> what is your purpose to be here today? See, man, you can't be doing that. <laughs> you take it off. <laughs> no, please, enlighten us. Go we on. are enchanted to be in your presence. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. I yeah. really appreciate it. <laughs> well, so <laughs> you're, you're no, so okay, no, honestly, okay, though, he told me a lot about you. Told me about your music journey. Except for how to pronounce my name. No, he didn't even tell me your name. I had to just. Look it up <gasps> what are you right talking oh about, my goodness. bro? That is, Why do you think I went in the room? I was studying right now. Are like, you right, serious right now? Anything, so I just looked you up. Wow. And I found a bunch of stuff on Google. What'd you find out? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> tell the world. There's like a there's like a there's like a Netflix documentary through, like, and everything. <laughs> I went through 11 pages of Google. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go any deeper. Okay. I got scared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but tell us. No, no honestly, sorry. like he tells me, speaks very highly of you. Says that um, you're in the music industry and that you're blowing up. You've been on NFL, NBA, you're coming out with a new song, all sorts of different things. So tell us about all of that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 let's start from the top though. Okay. Let's talk, let's talk about your music career. Let's start with that. Okay. Cause I know you were in the car, you telling me mm -hmm. that you were classically trained. Yeah. So uh, classically I started, trained. yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> tell us more about so that. So I, I learned so my mom was my first guru and I, uh, she put me in Hindustani classical classes. So I learned for 15 years. Um, and then throughout that time I was like performing, doing competitions, um, singing in Marathi and like here in LA. No, this was in the Bay area. Okay. So I'm born and raised in the Bay. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then I, well, I moved to LA like less than a year ago, but I'm coming up on my year, which is exciting. There we go. Um, Almost a native. It's all good. <laughs> you, 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 I think I think it's what two and a half years. No, three years. No, four years. No, five years. I don't know the specifics, but F that's too okay. for native. <laughs> no, I feel at home here though. Like See? I feel like. Well, I mean, LA being in like, the industry and like just kind of. Going but not even that. Like I feel like I'm connecting with the people here more than I ever did in the Bay Area. Oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah, I've heard that before. Actually. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I think like a lot of people in the Bay are like tech focused and I, mm, I like never yeah. fit in in that bubble I would yeah, say yeah. and then ever since I moved here I've totally. been having like more creative conversations and like meeting yeah. artists and things like that so it's been really nice um, That's to connect with people on that level. What made your parents want to put you through the whole um, singing career like when you were younger you did it for 15 years you said like, yeah like, what, how did that come about okay yeah so my they just looked at you they're like she's gonna be she's like start <laughs> singing <laughs> we like the way she cries because <laughs> you know you're a baby she was even crying with like sir like, <laughs> exactly. they're like yo this has a nice ring to it like please do this more <laughs> that's so funny um <laughs> My, so my mom actually taught me how to sing first. And then I like randomly started like playing the keyboard on my own. And she was like, oh, like there's something here. And so she decided to put me in classes and then I was just going to class every week. And that's how mm. it kind of started. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. And, and these were in-person classes like every day or every no, every week. week. Yeah, every yeah, week? yeah. How old were you when you went to your first class? Maybe like four, I think. Really? What? Yeah. Wow. Oh That's God. amazing. Yeah. So wow. I've been singing for 
most of my life. Yeah, you were like about to say the number, but you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, and like I, I, I've seen some of your posts where you're singing, and it's incredible, honestly. Like to hear, to hear like you take the sur and like rock to different places, and you're just like, what? Like where is it? Because like you do Bollywood covers, mm -hmm. like a lot of them, mm -hmm. and they're all just hitting. Well, you you you're talking about one of the covers you did with your mom oh, and yeah. it was at like what 18 18.8 million views that's it's crazy. insane put that up honestly. yeah that honestly when that is crazy this happened like during covid and like me and my mom was just both my parents are real estate brokers own sweet home realty um <laughs> shout out <laughs> shout out <laughs> and um, my mom was doing an open house and nobody was in the house at the time so i was like mom's like you want to make a video <laughs> And she was like, okay. And then we just like made a video and I posted it that night. And then overnight, it just like blew up. Really? It was you weren't even expecting it. You just posted no, it. No, I wasn't. And it was, it was crazy. Like I'd never experienced that type of situation before. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, this is insane. And it was like in the middle of a work day. And then I went <laughs> live too. I was like, this is crazy. I don't know what's going on. Um, but it was, it was so cool. And then my yeah. mom was really excited too. Like now she, like my mom's also a radio jockey. Oh um, yeah? Yeah, so she has her own Marathi radio show. Wow. In the um, Bay Area? Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, both my parents are so talented and I'm like so grateful for them. Like I wouldn't be where I'm at if it Absolutely. weren't for them. That's like, amazing. And their support and my brother's support. Like I'm so grateful and appreciative for them. That is crazy. So yeah. tell me more about how you got into where you are today, right? So you did the whole classes for 15 years. Mm -hmm. What was like your first thing that you were like, hey, this is it, this is something I'm gonna pursue? Oh, I have I think, I don't know when that transition was, but I think music's been so integrated in my life yeah. that like, I always knew that I wanted to pursue mm -hmm. music. Um, but in terms of like the NHL and the NBA and stuff, I was singing the national anthem at high school games okay and then i would i would just sing at the basketball games mm -hmm. and then i went to purdue um oh, also in high school i was also in choir and stuff and okay. neutral choir okay. and things like that and then um then i went to purdue and i joined a south asian acapella team for a couple years so that was really a great experience yeah, yeah. um we came up out with an album and everything and then towards my last year in college there was an opportunity to audition to sing for the NHL and become the first Indian American to sing for the NHL. No way. And so... How'd you come about this audition? Um, it was actually... There was this company who, was, who had been following my journey since I was a little kid, and they had reached out to me, and they are like, we want you to audition for this. And wow. um, I was like, yeah, this is so cool. But awesome. at the time, I didn't realize how insane it was. Mm -hmm. And I, I also sang for Purdue, like NCAA as well. Um, so that was really cool, but I didn't understand the how big the NHL was. And <laughs> I really didn't. I, I don't follow sports at all. Oh, wow. okay, okay. Yeah. That, that I like sense. literally every time I'd go perform for like the games, I'd like go perform and then I'd leave. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm not going to watch this all the way through. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand it. <laughs> So I was like, okay. That's crazy. Uh, so I'd go perform and then I had a seat. So I like go sit there, but then like my friends would be around. So then we'd all just like hang out and um, right. stuff after. But anyways, I auditioned and I like sent in the audition. And um, this was actually right before COVID hit, like May, uh, sorry, March mm -hmm. 5th, 2020. Oh. Um, I flew out to the Bay Area and then like I was wearing a, a sari and everything it was no way it was amazing wow. and it was so sparkly and um yeah it was such an amazing experience and like it felt really wonderful to also be the first Indian American to sing for the NHL because yeah, yeah. now I'm representing like the culture the minority. And, yeah. yeah people you how know, was that when you were on center stage in mm -hmm. front of everybody and everybody's lights, looking at you oh action, my gosh knowing that you're the first indian american just right there in that moment, yeah how did you feel in that moment i was just focused on making sure i didn't forget the words <laughs> it's <laughs> For a, the, to, to the national <laughs> anthem yeah yeah I mean, well because like there's <laughs> there's always like so much pressure right like yeah and so and this was like a huge stadium so yeah. i like didn't know what to expect um 
And like yeah. at that point, I'm sure you were getting in your head too. So when you start getting inside of your head, you start like thinking of people looking at you rather than uh, what, what did you experience that? That's actually a really good question because I think I just treated it as if it was like any other performance because I didn't understand how intense it was. It. Yeah, yeah, I didn't understand that until after. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, wait, like this is crazy. Um, but like, I feel like as time has gone on, like when I sang for the NBA, mm -hmm. uh, my voice was gone that day. Oh, like, no. yeah, I was sick and I was so, str I had stressed myself out so much for that performance that I lost my voice. Oh. And I was like, I had a sore throat. Like when I sang, when I did mic check, it no. was so embarrassing. What happened? It was so embarrassing. Like, could you hear yourself too, right? Cause you yeah, yeah. I had in-ears and oh my gosh, it was, that was probably like, probably one of the most embarrassing singing moments that I had when I was doing mic check. Cause I was singing, like people were like practicing, um, on the court. And then I was just like in the middle of the court, like trying to do like sound check, whatever. And my voice was just not there. Like it mm -hmm. just was not there. And that's when I was like, okay, I think I just need to like trust my voice and trust the universe that whatever happens like will happen for good mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. and I kind of just let let the thought go and yeah it was scary um and so you know you have to sing the song in a certain like you can pick the key that you sing it in right yeah. right yeah. so I had picked a specific key that I was going to sing it in but when I got there I like played the, the note in my ear and I had it in my head but when I got to the front to sing I had dropped a couple keys and I'm so grateful that I did because I sang it perfectly fine wow. Wow. for the actual performance so so the key that you, you're saying the key that you had practiced on yeah your but, voice that day could not have handled no but like the fact that like I couldn't hear the key because it was so loud uh, yeah. around me yeah. helped the fact that helped my performance at the end of the day. That's crazy. Yeah, because I sang in a lower key and my voice was able to sing in that key. That's amazing. Perfectly fine. I know it was crazy. But that was like a natural thing that happened to you. It was natural. Right? And I'm like, thank God. Like, That's crazy. It's crazy how the universe yeah, works sometimes. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Who was playing that day? Um, you don't follow The support. Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> You're like uh, the Picklebacks. <laughs> <laughs> the Dolphins. <laughs> but that's the team, right? The Dolphins is the team? That's that's football. That's football. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> he doesn't follow sports either. Wait, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah, I am yeah. yeah. I am like a huge sports fanatic. Okay. I actually play in a basketball league. <laughs> oh yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually has a game after this Literally. show. He's like, okay, let's try to see if we can wrap this up because I gotta go play. Oh wait, when's your game? Tonight at eight o'clock here in Irvine. <gasps> Oh my gosh, fun. Yeah, yeah we actually tried fun. to play basketball in his backyard one time and he just dominated. <laughs> I, I am not good at it at I'm all. Not, oh. I'm not I can good. only dribble and I can't even shoot. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm not that good. I'm not oh. Good. No, no. Okay, sure. But you guys should come to the game after this, yeah. And then you can do the national anthem. <laughs> you can do the national anthem <laughs> in the league. Yeah, you got I'll literally it. make some phone calls and I'll be like, we're doing the national anthem and they'll be like, we're down. That's so funny. So, yeah. so but was it the same company that found you for the NH NHL no. that found you for the NBA? Or Actually, I reached out to the NBA. You did? Yeah. Wow. What do you do? NBA at NBA.com? I am in... I'm in tech sales, so I'm used to trying to find the right people. Mm -hmm. And so I just like went on LinkedIn, tried to find the right people and sent What'd a bunch you say of emails. To them? Like what was like your uh, pitch? Yeah. Well, I sent my background. I sent my music resume and then I was like, I've performed for the NHL. I was the first Indian American woman to do so. I love the opportunity to sing for the NBA for the season. And they were, they messaged me back a couple months later and they're like, are you free this day? And I was like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they didn't respond until a couple of months later. So yeah. did you feel like a certain type of way? You're like, oh, it didn't happen? Or No, I think I've learned it? to trust the universe yeah. a lot more yeah. where I just like, kind of let things go and like whatever is meant for me will find me. And, Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and I just that's how I want to continue living. Yeah. That's deep. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> that's so dope, honestly. Like the fact that you reached out to them because it's, it's, it's funny how opportunities get created 
when you take the first step yeah. and you just kind of like walk away from it. You're yeah. like, I took the step and I'm going to let this sit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the universe does whatever yeah. you yeah. do with it. You'll miss a thousand shots that you don't take. Yeah. A hundred percent. You have control over your whole life. Right. But at the end of the day, if it's right for you, it'll come to you. Mm-hmm. you exactly. know? What's meant to happen is already written. It exactly. will happen. Exactly. No matter right. what. <laughs> that's amazing so now fast forward to present day you've done like you know nhl nba um and then what have you done in between then and now yeah and then let's talk about what's next okay i have been doing a lot of social media stuff so i started social media actually during covid okay um i started posting on tiktok and yeah i was posting every day what were you for- posting singing videos well actually i started posting about my little girl sky my little baby oh the cat (laughs) she has a cat sky is my little baby she's so cute she's so cute wait you want to see a picture i want to see (laughs) yes let me show you i love cats she's literally the best well and also if we can also take the picture and post yeah yeah we'll put it up we'll put it up it's her that's so cute y'all look cute she's so fluffy that's so cute she's so cute so she's the best thing so that's ever happened to me. Sky, Sky. Sky, yeah. Right, Sky. How did that like come about? Were you just like, one day you're like, I want a cat? Okay. This is a, a story. Are you guys ready for I'm it? I'm ready for this. I'm ready for Because I love cats. I'm a cat man. Oh, so I have four cats. Oh, okay. That's a little crazy. <laughs> a little crazy. I, I, I love crazy. cats, but not that much. You know? I am a crazy cat lady. Yeah, that's okay. But the, thing is, cats are, but the thing is, cats are so cute though. They're the best. Like they're the best. They're independent. Mm-hmm. They do whatever they want, right? And you can just be like... You can hang out with them. They're yeah. boys. Like they're. And the thing is that each of chill. them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I like cats. I'm. I'm can we just if, meow the rest of this like, podcast? Can we, can we meow, just, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> that's that's how cat the sky does it. No, <laughs> sky's like. Mm, what does she do? She's she's a talker. She talks to me a lot because I talk a lot to so her. Do you understand meow? Yeah, we understand each other's that's meow. That's what's up. Okay. Well, I don't meow her, but she you I don't? understand her meow. You should. You should. Honestly, I used it, to meow to my cat. We'd have a whole oh. lot of conversation. No, but no, no she no, understands no, my they, English. I don't they, have to meow to her. Oh, okay. Mm, fair enough. Okay. She learned she learned She's your language, so, so you don't have to learn her. She's hers. so smart. Uh-huh. But anyways, the story of of Sky. Okay. So, let me tell you where it all started. <laughs> yes. Basically. <laughs> Basically, my parents moved into this house and we have a huge like front yard, I guess you could say. There's like stairs outside. And one day my dad was like, Sokia, can you go grab the box that's down by the pool? And I was like, uh, OK, fine. And so I'm going down these stairs and I'm like, hmm, how cool would it be if I saw a cat? And as I'm going down the stairs, I hear a meow. She manifested that shit. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, so you just wait, ran... Wait, sorry. You randomly thought... thought about I it? randomly thought about a cat and then the cat ended... This is what I was saying in the car when I was like, oh, like when Mara called you, I was like, I had a feeling she was calling you about the door. The, the, the keys? Yes. Oh, wow. And that's why I was like, that's so weird that I was thinking about that. And I didn't bring it up because I don't want to like put it out, right? No, you should have because I would have been like, hey, you got the keys or not? <laughs> I could have. But then also... But I mean, we were already in Corona at that Yeah. Point. So... So then I was like, okay, it's fine. But then she called you again and I was like, what? This just happened? But yeah, I'm, my whole family is like very intuitive. And there's mm-hmm. another story that I need to tell you guys about one of my That's cats. That's crazy. I, I'm like that too. I was just going to say like Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. okay, cool. Wait, I wait, wait. Cats. So, so let's get back to Sky. Then okay, because, okay. Because we want to well, so this isn't first. Sky, but this is my first cat that okay, I found. Okay. This is Boo. So Boo's like smaller than my hand. She can't even walk. She can't like move on her own. She's in the pool. No. Sorry, I should have explained. <laughs> I was going down. The- <laughs> <laughs> she was just taking a swim. You just took her out. <laughs> Let me save you. <laughs> you you, you my cat now. <laughs> Let me give you a new home. <laughs> Let's go home. Let me give you a better life. <laughs> take care okay. of you. <laughs> so then, the so she's boom. like in the bushes. She that's like on the way she's down. Depressed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. Boom. She's like in the bushes on the way down to the stairs. So I pick her. I don't even go down to the pool. Yeah. I'm like coming back up with this cat or this little kitten, and I'm like, look what I found. My parents thought it was a rat and they're like why are you holding a rat but then it was it was a little kitten and then they were like okay well we'll leave it outside for now because we were heading back to go for my parents radio show and so we left it and then the mom never came to get boo and so we ended up keeping boo and then four weeks later night shows up at our doorstep and and night is another night cat. is our like other it, cat. It, it was okay. nighttime. It was nighttime. And, and night is our full black cat shows up 
at our doorstep and he does not leave and he becomes ours too and then so we have two cats at this point both kittens and um both my parents fall in love with them uh my brother loves them too so much and so that and then a year went by and I was like still in college at this time and I have an internship in Seattle. So Seattle is a really special place in my heart because that's where I adopted Sky. Um, and I was interning and one day I was like, I really want my own cat. Like I miss my cats back home. So I go to the shelter and I see Sky. She's a cute little kitten and somebody had put her on hold. And you can only have cats on, on hold for 24 hours. Mm. And so I stayed there until the hold was gone. No way. You, you, you like, stayed, stayed at the shelter. It was like Black Friday. You had like a whole ass uh, sleeping bag and stuff. This or? was like after work. And it was like, I had got, no, no, no. It wasn't after work. It was during the day on a Saturday or something. Okay. So like okay. morning and night basically. So you basically did like a whole No, it was just hours. a couple, it was just a couple hours that I waited. Oh, cause it was winding down to the It was winding oh, down okay, to so, the So because hours. you said 24 hours, we were thinking you stayed for 24 hours. Like, oh, it was in like a whole 10. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I yeah. wouldn't. They wouldn't. That's why I was like, did you camp that. there? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. more sense. Okay. No, no, no. I was actually serious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so then you waited a few hours. So I'm here in the shelter, and Sky gets off hold, so I put her on hold. Right. And, that, and then at this point, and then I text and I sent a picture of Sky to my parents, and I'm like, this is my new cat. <laughs> my mom, <laughs> both my parents are like, so yeah, no, like, no. <laughs> and I'm, and I didn't know what was happening at this point, right? I just like had put Sky on hold and my apartment in Seattle didn't allow pets. Oh. And my new apartment at Purdue didn't allow pets. And I was like, what am I gonna do? So I register Sky as an emotional support animal, um, get a doctor's note, all that stuff. And I basically submit everything to the Seattle apartment and the Purdue apartment. The Seattle apartment gets back to me in like three days, but the Purdue apartment takes two weeks. And keep in mind, they only hold cats for 24 hours. Oh, so you hadn't gotten Sky yet? No, oh, wow. she was in the shelter. Oh. And so I was going back every day and seeing her after work. Oh my God. And I think this was also just like showing the universe like, hey, I really do want her in my life right. because we had a special bond like when it comes to cats and adopting cats like you don't just adopt any cat right, right. like you adopt a cat that comes to you and connects with you. yeah every cat has a personality yeah, yeah and like the reason why some people don't get along with their cats is because they probably chose one that they wanted instead of waiting to see which one energetically you gotta vibe out with, with the cat exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, it's all about the vibes. This is insightful. I've, yeah. I I've never had pets. This. No, that's how it is. Yeah. It's Cats cool. are very like spiritual and like very energetically focused. And so mm -hmm. me and Sky like bonded really well. And after two weeks, the Purdue apartment finally approved her. And I get like the email at work and immediately the next day I'm like there and I go and adopt her and it's the best decision ever. How'd you get them to keep? the cat beyond the 24 hours a day i kept going back and they saw my bond with her and they were like could you have gone in and said i want this cat every day until just resign i could have but it was also it. starting to stress sky out because other people wanted her uh, she's beautiful like yeah, you look uh, at yeah. her and you're like I want her. How, how old was she when you got her? She was four months. Oh my god, she was like a little baby. <laughs> Wait, let me show you a picture. <laughs> little baby, let's reset. She's this so thing. fluffy. She's literally so cute. Uh, yeah. Oh. If, yeah, if if you want, you can like if you want to put her Look on at Sky. the screen. Four months old, mm -hmm. and then and then what? Happened? Oh, me and Sky have been through a journey together. You tr you traveled with her everywhere. Yeah, so yeah. we flew from Seattle to Purdue. Um, that was her first plane ride. You, do you get to keep her with you? Thankfully, like yeah. Like in your lap? No, I I got her a, a carry on yeah, that goes under the carry on, right? under the plane. Yeah, she was not under. Side. Sorry, under the seat in front of. No, yeah, because I was gonna say seat? she's not too big. Yeah, yeah, she was under my seat. I mean, she was a kitten when I traveled with her, um, but you need like a specific size carrier or whatever that fits under the seat. Mm. So I just put her under the seat. Um, then we flew together, and then COVID hit. So then we had to fly from. Purdue back to the Bay Area. 
And then hmm. we were in the Bay for a bit. And then we drove down to San Diego and we were there for a bit. And then we came back up to the Bay and then we were there for three years. And then wow, wow. we just moved down. To, well, not just because I'm coming up on my year, which is crazy, but we... Native. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that, but okay. But she's an LA gal now. Yeah, I know. LA suits her too. Yeah? yeah. How so? Like she's just she's like just flashy like, and furry. She's just so like posh and like princessy. Okay. How's your uh how does she get along with the other cats? Sky Sky is a very independent gal. I feel so like she you're like defining yourself. I am all, like we're both <laughs> very similar actually. Right? Yeah. Me and Sky. We're both like very dependent, like have our own things. We're both picky eaters. She's yeah. so funny. She only eats fancy feast, wet food, and dry food. So I can't, she doesn't even like treats. So, oh. yeah, she's a very picky gal. Um, Watches her snacks. Yeah, I get it. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> but back to that question. She gets along with them really well, actually, and she beats them in fights, too. Nice. nice. So That's she's important. Yeah. Strong, That's independent strong, cat. Strong, yeah. <laughs> it, it's all the food that you're feeding her. She, she's she's on a fancy her. feast. The fancy yeah, feast the fancy is getting her. Yeah. Do, does she sing as well? She does. She screams at me a lot. Like me she me screams me at you. Yeah, why? she's a screamer. <laughs> why, why, why does she? Scream? <laughs> it, it, pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> wait, hold on. I, Whoa. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I had a question because you used to have a cat, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You wanna you wanna talk more about that cat or Chingy? You guys remember the rapper Chingy? Wait, stop. My cat. One of my cats names Chingy. Shut up. I yeah. thought I was the only one. No way. Wait, I need wait to tell me. you stop. about Chingy. Wait, I have a Chingy. Oh wait, God. there's no way. Nobody yes, names wait. her. Because, like, you know the rapper there's, Chingy? No. You don't know why, Chingy? Wait, wait, no. wait. Hold on. Pause. Why did you name your cat Chingy? And why did you name your cat Chingy? Let's start with you first. <laughs> so we named, we named Chingy Chingy because she's small and Chingy. <laughs> okay, that's, that's okay. okay. But, like, what does Chingy mean to you? So small. And Is that, that what it means? Yeah, Chingy. Did you, and then did you name your cat after the rapper? The rap I did, yeah. <laughs> okay. I named my cat after the rapper because wow. um, I used to like Chingy back in the day when I'm um, growing up. He was a good rapper. Wait, that's decent. crazy. You didn't know Chingy? No. Right there, right there. No. Oh, that's Chingy? That's Chingy. That's like back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, how old are you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my man's got three kids. Like, come on. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, y'all, you ain't gonna find a father three that look like this, though. Right, that looks like right, 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 right. Relax. Right. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Lower 30s. <laughs> wait, so then you you had a Beng like a Bengal, Bengalese? Cat? What, how, how do you call it? It's a Bengal cat. Bengal cat. Um, Bengal. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Rude. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't know cat <laughs> I know. <laughs> I told you I have never had pets. Like I'm. Not, this is fascinating to me because I've never had pets. Yeah. My my mom had seven dogs growing up. Uh, oh. Or wow. like something like that. And mm -hmm. when they moved around a lot, and then the dogs would like you know they would give her parents would give the dogs away. So she just never was like I, it's too much baggage when like yeah. you know they go away. You like you feel like you lost a family. Yeah. Member. So she never allowed us to have pets. The yeah. only pets we've had are like goldfish and like little baby chicken, like the chicken. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like those are the only pets that I've oh. ever had. So I feel like a lot of parents have that same viewpoint where they're like, oh, when the animal leaves you, it's so heartbreaking that it's like, yeah. I don't want to bring it. Well, it becomes a part of the family, right? Yeah. yeah. And it, it's understandable. But yeah. those memories that you create, like with your pet, it's like, nothing else yeah. no yeah. absolutely <gasps> absolutely oh my girl i love her <laughs> i She's love that I are they are they mainly just like tabbies or um, so sky lives with me specifically so sky's my cat and then oh yeah I didn't no, like tell. the breed breed wise oh sky she's a siberian mix okay um chingy's a tabby cat uh she's very small she's gray um and then we have one black cat and then one torty and they're like eight nine years That's old okay. yeah but let me tell you about chingy so a couple of months after I adopted Sky, my parents found Chingy, and they were trying to catch something else. But then Chingy ended up inside the crate or whatever. They were trying to catch something, like they were hunting or something. Not <laughs> hunting. No, I mean. I'm but just there was there was like. <laughs> I'm wondering <laughs> how how they catch a, a cat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure actually. They're like in a box, and they were trying to like get it with the fishing net or something. Like, like did they see that they were like, oh, no, okay, they had left like a. Crate? Crate or something. Mm. Maybe they were... There's like a fresh shipment of with cats. Like, with like food in it or something? Just to close it? Yeah, I think... 
They had like a fresh shipment of cats and like they were just trying to like scoop one up and they grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they were trying to catch something. We'll, 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 find, we'll find out later. <laughs> we'll find out later what we're trying yeah, to catch. Yeah. And but then, then anyways, Chingy ends up inside the crate or whatever and then Chingy becomes a part of our family. Her, her official name is Brandy, but we only call her Chingy mm. um, because it just makes the most sense. But I need to tell you guys this story about my brother. He's like, my brother's like so intuitive but basically jingy and boo and knight are all <laughs> i can't believe this podcast starting into just i was talking about cats no right no now. no we want to hear but, it keep talking <laughs> i told you but, i can talk about cats forever um <laughs> but this story you guys will be mind blown i promise okay so jingy boo and knight are all indoor outdoor cats okay my mom let them all out one time and then like that same day, only Boo and Knight came back, but Chingy didn't come back. So we were like, okay, where's Chingy? So we sent Boo and Knight to go find Chingy, but they couldn't find her. So then they came back, and by this time it was like dark. And we're, we didn't know where Chingy was. We were like screaming her name, um, couldn't find her. Then the next day, I bring my friends, and we do like a... Actually, no, a, a day goes by where my parents are looking for her. She still doesn't come back. Then the next day, I bring my friends to do like a search party, and my parents' property is like really big, so like she could be literally anywhere, and we didn't know where she was. And we spent the whole day looking for her, and we couldn't find her. And it was scary. It was sad. Um, we didn't know where she was. And then my brother, he lives in Europe, so he was like in a totally different time zone. He was like sleeping, um, but it was like 9 p.m. And I was like parked in some parking lot. And then my brother texts the group chat and he's like, I just woke up. I think Chingy's in the concrete well that's in like on the second level of the house. And we were like, okay, the next morning we go and she's there. Don't tell me. Yeah. He said he saw her in his, like, saw her fall in, in his dream. And he's, like, in a totally different time zone. No. Yeah. There's so no she was that. there That's the next crazy. morning. And she was in the corner of the concrete well. And it was, like, a good five feet down. She fell into it. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, if my brother didn't see that, in dream? we don't know where she yeah. would have been. How'd you get her out? Um, one of us went like jumped inside and then like picked her up and then brought her back up. Wow. Yeah. That's wow. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. The, the fact that he had a dream about it? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, that's it's like, really crazy. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's like, I mean, we were just talking about energies earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, think, and intuitions. Like, yeah. That's like ultimate uh -huh. intuition. Yeah. And the thing is that my whole family is like that, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think um, me and my mom are like that. Really? Mm. Wow. Yeah, me, me, me and my mom are like that too, actually. Wow. Like, it's, it's insane. I know something yeah. before it's going to happen. It's weird. Yeah. It's really weird. It's yeah. so weird, but it's like... For me, it's not as intense as you guys. Or yeah. like, I guess when you said, like, you know it's going to happen. For me, it's like that the likelihood of it happening yeah. is very high before something, like an action that I'm going to do, the, the likelihood of X, Y, Z happening. My brain is like, if you do this, this is what's going to happen. And it actually, one of the three options Whoa. actually ends up happening. Wow. But yeah, it's, it's like the like, it's more of a That's likelihood crazy. than like exactly. Yeah. So for me, it's like this like radar of don't do this. I have like a photogenic memory. So like I can play the scene of either what's going to happen or what happened exactly like a movie. And I can Whoa. pause, rewind. It's weird. And like I can see it before it happens. That's crazy. Like Terminator looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Videotaping everything. <laughs> Rewind that. <laughs> Put it in the cloud. <laughs> Rewind the fucking clock. <laughs> no, it's just insane though. <laughs> she's like, what are they talking about? I she's love your like, friendship. It's so cute. She's looking at you like you're weird. <laughs> you guys it's are the, both weird. It's, 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 it's <laughs> We're the, all weird. It's the Jamba Juice hitting. Yeah. It's the yeah, what did you do? What did you put in here, by the way? I don't know, man. Uh, this is very. This is not the right kind of jamba juice that I get. Wait, is it not? <laughs> it's different. Like I haven't had jamba juice in a while. Well, why does it even look like this, though? Like, why is it in this? Yeah. Cup? They used to have uh, nicer cups. Yeah, the clear ones. See, I was telling yeah. you that they had the, the ones, so the right? clear ones are like the small size. And none of the big ones. I'm talking about. They used to have these oh. white foamy ones. This is like recycled plastic. Oh. You know? Yeah. No, but even the juice inside, it feels like knockoff. 
It mm. really doesn't feel good. Oh. oh. Yeah, I don't know why. The acai, the, the bowl was probably good. I like the I bowl. Because I saw it. I love the bowl. I, it looked really good. I was I like, love oh, the man, bowl. I should have gotten the bowl. Yeah. But, in other but, news. Yeah. Um, Chunky strawberry bowl from Jamba Juice. Yeah. It was really <laughs> good. <laughs> and then it started melting. Let's not bash, <laughs> let's not bash Jamba Juice, though. You know? No, I know. Jamba, Jamba Juice is, is good. Get their Chunky strawberry bowl. Yeah, yeah. but the Very smoothies nice. are all right. <laughs> they used to be better. What Get did the you razzmatazz. Razzmatazz? I got the, yeah. I got the mango... What was it? Mango? Mega mango. Mega mango. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. And you yeah. got the Caribbean something, right? The Caribbean passion. Oh, okay. Was it good? It's got more passionate guys. You know why? You know why? It doesn't it both <laughs> Did both of yours have pineapple in it? Yes. Mine, mine does, I think. Pineapples are good. Oh, okay. So you're saying because it has pineapple. It's Probably. Wait, what was <laughs> Nothing. I just have... I <laughs> you don't like pineapple? pineapple? Wait, talk to me about pineapples. What's your, what's your issue with pineapples? Okay, okay. <laughs> like, we like we want to we dissect this right because now. Because pineapples are very important. They, they're really good for you. Okay. Yeah. They have a lot of uh, dietary... Benefits. And like uh, antioxidants. I haven't had pineapple in like 20 years. <gasps> yeah. You're missing out on nutrition. I don't you think had, uh, so. You had a traumatic experience? Or what happened? Yeah, actually. I was in... <laughs> Did the pineapple attack you or what? <laughs> She touched it and it poked her and it looked. Yeah, never, never again. again. <laughs> never again. <laughs> you, you suck. <laughs> Basically, I got sick in India and I they gave me pineapple medication and every time I took it I would just yak and so I stopped eating pineapple ever since that day. It was pineapple what do you mean medication. Pineapple, pineapple medication. flavored medication. Pineapple flavored medication? Yeah, and then ever since that day, I Okay, so that's not no pineapple. So. Well, I can't have pineapple, so uh, okay, and I haven't had it. So. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, Shut that's up. probably what no. <laughs> Thank you though. <laughs> no, but but, but the, dom, the 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 bowl looked really good. The bowl looked It was, was so like, good. I should probably get it, honestly. You should. Probably on the way back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just try again. Give it another shot. Everybody know. deserves second chances. <laughs> Especially pineapples. Especially. Okay. Pineapples. I don't know about. In that. another news, so let's actually go back to the. Um, I want to know more about the singing stuff. Yes. So. I, oh yeah. I, we started off. I want to know. Media and me like making cat videos. Right. So so you're, yeah. So you've been making a lot of videos around singing, and you are working. Well, you've already finished the song that we listened to in the car. Yes. And there was another song that you're working on. Let's talk about the song you finished. Oh, and okay. See and talk about when it's coming out. What the story behind it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. General terms. When, when I heard the song, it sounded like a lot more of just, you know, personal growth. Yeah. A lot of self-reflection. Yeah. And that's honestly like, it's such a beautiful sentiment because not a lot of people talk about like really like going through tough times and, and, and also like the song is a banger. I'm sorry. I like, I heard it. I was like, oh, this, this laughs. <laughs> oh, thank it's you a so really, much. really good song. I haven't song. heard it yet. I'm looking for it's it. A, yeah. No, I mean, if she's comfortable, we'll play afterwards. Yeah. But it's a really, really good song. But the story behind it was actually like, you know, when I was listening to it, like I was getting goosebumps. I was telling you, it was, it was a really, really yeah. good story. So the fact that you're able to bring it out into the light and just saying, you know, like, this is how I feel. And this is yeah. how I'm, you know, going to grow from this experience. That's probably like, it's that, that's the story of the song. Yeah. And I'm super excited. I know you're, and you said it's coming out soon, but yeah, do we yeah. have any dates? I don't have any dates there? yet. I think because of like, I've been trying to get the song out all summer, but the universe has just been like take a step back like whenever the song's gonna come out it's gonna come out mm -hmm. there have been like a lot of roadblocks going about getting the song out so mm -hmm. when it comes out it will and i'll post about it everywhere yes but i'm so grateful for Saad. like he helped me so much with that song like he produced it yeah. and we co-wrote it together and that same week that i'd broken up with my ex was the first time that i actually met Saad, and like we worked on um the song together and I gave Saad literally nothing to work with I was just like you know I the relationship is done like I've been thinking about it and like you know I accept that it's over and then that's like how the song starts and then mm -hmm. every time we met I felt like he created such a comfortable space for me to like talk through things and um, he was so patient and I'm just really grateful for him and for helping me like create that song and bring it to life, you know? And That's amazing. Yeah. How did you meet Saad? We met through social media. Really? Yeah, it's You slid crazy. in his DMs or what? No, actually, I followed him on TikTok. Yeah, okay. And he followed me back on TikTok and then I followed him on Instagram and then he followed me back on Instagram. And then he messaged me, he's like, hey, like love your stuff, um, would love to like- Collab. Yeah, collaborate, yeah. like write a song or 
and I'd never done anything like this before. Oh, no way. Okay. Um, yeah, it's always been like online, I guess. Mm -hmm, so this mm -hmm. was like kind of the first time I was like going to be in like a studio setting and oh. like meet someone who okay. like, I mean, I've been to like a studio, but I haven't worked with a producer while yeah, yeah. writing and all Your that own stuff. music. Yeah. Th this is like huh. the first song that I'm coming out with that I like also wrote. Yeah. That's so the other amazing. Song, okay. I didn't know that part. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was thinking you were, I know, I know you're really big on Instagram and TikTok with like the covers and, yeah, yeah. but I was thinking that this was like one of the projects that you're working on, not the project. This would really be like my first, that's why I'm doing it all on my own. That's why I'm like, that's what I was saying. Like it, it's all just been such a learning experience, like trying to navigate everything, like figure out like yeah. cover shoot, like even my vision for the song. Like I know how I want my cover art to be, like all that stuff is like so new to me and it's been so challenging, but it's like helped me grow as an artist. And mm. this whole year has just been about growth as an artist. And that's actually why I moved down here because I wanted to focus more on like music. And um, it's been like amazing. Like I've met yeah. so many amazing people. Like I've written music, like that's cool. That's so cool. Like I'm so like grateful and thankful for these opportunities that are coming to me. That's so. amazing. That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. especially as a creative, like you gotta celebrate those those wins, right? Because yeah. you, it, it, as a creative, you run into writer's block more often than you could think of. Yeah. And the phone, you actually finally put something on paper and you're able to push it through to the end and yeah. you listen to, like, trust me, I, I like... Your this, new song that just dropped. Yeah. yeah. That was a banger. Yeah, I, I dropped Drift Away on my birthday. Yeah. But it started last year. Like, I started working on the song in November. Like, yeah. I was... Actually, I wrote the song during the pandemic mm -hmm. and I didn't touch it until... Yeah two years later, three yeah. years later, which is 2023. And then I was like, I want to work on the song because mm -hmm. it's it told a story. Yeah. But it takes so much work mm -hmm. to f even, first of all, get to the point where you have a written song yeah. and then getting it to get produced, yeah. sing on it, like, you know, do it, doing it properly and not, you know, like, not like just kind of half-assing it. But it's a lot of work. So the fact that it's your first project, I actually didn't know that. Yeah. That's so I've like, cool. I... For my other projects, I've like worked with producers, like they've sent me the track and then like I just give them vocals yeah. and I just record everything at home and like the vocals are totally fine. But this was my first time like, actually, no, You're I had another from song. From scratch, right? Yeah, from scratch. And we worked on it like we worked on the music and the lyrics, all of that like simultaneously, which is I think how I prefer making music. Like I like working with a producer next to me yep. Yep. Um, and that's how I've been going about my other projects too. So, yeah, it's just, it's been a journey. Like, I've tried to just write music and, mm -hmm. but then I'm like, I don't know, like, but it's good, like, practice, you know? Yeah. yeah. But I think, like, if I want to actually make a song, like, I need to have a producer with me and we need to do it together. Absolutely. It's kind of like making, making a cake or, you know, cooking something. Yeah. Like, you can do it yourself. Yeah. But it's going to take a while if you really don't know where you're yeah, going. Yeah. But especially with someone who understands your vision mm -hmm. for what the end product's going to look like. Yeah, or even if yeah. you don't understand exactly what it's going to look like, yeah. you can sit there and you can brainstorm and bounce yeah. ideas off of one another and uh -huh. say, but what if this? Yeah. And what if that? And they're like, no, this doesn't sound good. Maybe we try this. Or you say, yeah. mm, maybe not this, not that, mm -hmm. but this. Yeah. And then you end up coming to a point where you have something great. And that's why I'm like so grateful for Saad. Like we were able, like I literally, the first time, like <laughs> you could ask him to, I gave him nothing to work with. Um, and I was like so shy. Like mm -hmm. I didn't know. I didn't know. Like I, it was my first time like being in this setting. And so, yeah, yeah. Um, but now we're great friends and he's amazing. What? So yeah. that that's amazing. So you do like a music video for this? I'm not doing a music video for getting rid of you. I think I'm at a point where I'm like, I need to get this song out right yeah, now. Yeah. And I did, I finally, like I got the cover shoot done, like everything went seamlessly. Now it's in editing. So I, I'm going to get hopefully the pictures by tonight and then I can get everything uploaded and then I'll have a date. So it's going to be more wow. of a st still visual experience, like pictures, or is it just like the cover art that you're going to It's do? the cover art. And then I have like other photos. Okay. So I think that's how I'm going to like go about marketing yeah and you could always course, drop like a song video. right and then do a music video after the fact. i could because a lot of people do that that's yeah. actually kind of what i did with the i mean although i had rec like recorded the video earlier i dropped the video after i dropped the song you had like a whole music video i didn't yeah. even know i just want to know was it you that was it's so I just, cool i knew that he was, was dropping a song yeah but then i watched the music video so i was like good. when did he shoot that? <laughs> <laughs> is that my house <laughs> <laughs> When? Where was I? You see, you see Ken in the background. 
<laughs> it was crazy. So, so tell me, like, it, it's just been such an honorable experience learning about your journey and what you're all about, your cats and your family and just the whole thing, honestly. Yeah. But what's next for you? <gasps> what's next for me? That's a really great question. So I have two movies coming out this year. Two movies? Wait, what? So I filmed them last year in uh, Tampa. Okay. Tampa? Yes. Tampa. Tampa, Florida, right? Yes. Okay. Bro. No. I'm just so. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, I also was making there's, sure that it was. There's a lot of Tampas out yeah. there. <laughs> so I filmed this movie out in Tampa and then I have like a chef role in one of the movies. It's called um, Love Unleashed. Are these indie films? What kind of films are they? Um, they are going to be on Prime. I think one of them's already out on Fandango, but I'm waiting for it to come out on Prime so I can watch it because I don't have That's to. crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was on a Prime show once. Wait, yeah, he was telling me that you went to on a, like a dating show or something. Can you tell me uh, about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on the CW for Patty Stanger. You know, Patty Stanger, Millionaire Matchmaker? Oh, okay, okay. I was on her TV show and then I was on an Amazon Prime TV show and a couple of other things, but yeah. we'll get into that. Tell me about the chef role. How did you get into from music to singing into acting? Like, yeah. how did that transition happen? Yeah. Um, and how the hell did you even, like, tell me? Like, that's so crazy. I think, so they were trying to bring more influencers into the space. Uh, oh, so they're okay, like, okay, 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 like, okay. you have a following mm -hmm. when you market it, you post about it. Like, they mm -hmm. want to bring more viewers. Okay. So okay. that was kind of my role. So I was, like, doing behind the scenes stuff. And... <clears throat> That was really cool. It was an amazing experience to be like, to see how kind of things yeah, are yeah, yeah. shot. It's you know? insane, right? You don't, yeah, so you don't crazy. realize, oh like now in movies, I'm like, oh, like. Yep, yep. I That's how I've always seen it because I've been That's, acting since yeah. I was uh, 14. And so oh, wow. I literally, I can't watch a movie normal anymore because it's like, I'm like the camera angles right there. That there's a oh. drone shot. This is what's happening. Yeah. This guy yeah, messed up this line, but he like fixed it by doing this. Uh -huh. Like you just figure it out. It's yeah. weird. That's interesting. Do, it's do a you, totally different Do you, um, like, wish you could watch a, a movie normally? Um, no, not not anymore. Because, like, it's just, it's a different way of watching a movie. Uh -huh. Like, I'll get into it. Yeah. But then, uh, after, like, let's say I get into it and I'm not analyzing on the spot. Yeah. Post, I will, like, analyze it. And I'll be like, I'll, like, think about it. Like, wait a minute. Like, yeah. you know, and then you kind of put two and two together. Yeah. And it's just interesting, especially when you're on, like, really large productions and, like, they have, like, drones and they have, like, the crane cameras. And yeah. Someone from, like, a building a hundred feet away, like, shooting and, like, every angle, every movement, everything is pre-planned. And it's yeah. just, and it, even for, like, a small scene, like, if we're just sitting here. Yeah. Talking to each yeah. other. Yeah. There's, like, there's, there's, like, literally this, like, so lights, different, different camera angles. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Beyond this, this is, like, yeah. just, a, like like penis like a, compared right yeah now. there's like background actor yeah they have yeah, to like yeah. it's crazy so from music to acting to cats like when you shot that chef scene yeah how was that like what, what, tell oh. me about that experience it was you were a chef in the movie yes yes in the movie or like the show in the movie in the okay. movie it so i wasn't like i was dressed as a chef but i was like on a call while I was dressed as a chef. And it okay. Was, and I was having a conversation. But okay. it was cool. I thought it was yeah. so Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Was it like a background or like was it like an actual like Yeah, it was character? a scene. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. An actual character, which is a crazy. That's wow. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long is this scene? Um I'm in like three or four scenes in that movie. That's a lot that's pretty dope. Yeah. 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 And I'm just like yelling at the main character, which is so funny. Um and <laughs> You then, overcooked the <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> that's crazy. And then the other movie I filmed, I went on I was like this girl who went on a date with like the main guy who like realized that he has a crush on this girl because he was like talking about her and I'm like, you you should go like talk to her. <laughs> oh, so you were like trying to like Yeah, help, help I was him trying out. to trying to help him. So that wow. was that scene. That's but crazy. I'm excited for I think that's the one that's coming out soon. I think next month maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that one's that one's already out on Fandango, on I Fandango. believe. So mm -hmm. Do you, do you have any other acting projects? Can I know you're working on music projects right now. Uh -huh. I think music's like my main focus, but I'm so open to like acting. You want to get into more acting? I want to do, I feel like commercials and like yeah. stuff would be fun. You do like, yeah. are, are you on uh, Actors Access, Backstage and all I'm that? I'm on Backstage, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, but I don't have an agent or anything. Like I do everything independently. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Um, 
So yeah. That's how I am too. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. But good stuff. if you want to get into acting, I know I know a few people. So oh, sweet. We'll Thank you. Out. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy though. Your whole journey is really inspiring. Oh, that's so sweet. It, it's, Thank a, you. it's actually very inspiring and it's very unique because mm -hmm. a lot of times you just kind of see people who I guess like, you know, come from a following and then they you know, they're already because they're signed to an agency or because they're signed to a label, yeah. they're getting all these projects and you just kind of see them like, oh, they're building, but you're building everything yourself. Yeah. And that's, that's and the with most unique like part. my parents, right? I, like my family, like I, I wouldn't, I really, really, really would not be where I am without them. Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah. Like that's like that's amazing. all like, yeah, all immigrant children, right? Like I feel like yeah. your parents came to this country, mm -hmm. they sacrificed everything and like you wouldn't be where you are or who you are if it wasn't for those sacrifices. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really, really grateful for it. And I've been thinking about it a lot and I've, and I talked to my mom about this too last night, but it's just like. When you think about like your parents growing up and their journey, it's like so different mm -hmm. and like they're just doing their best at the end of the day. You yeah, know? yeah. They're just trying to bring food to the table. Yeah. They're point. literally just doing their best and they're living this life for the first time. Yeah. And they're trying to navigate it. And like you just have to give them grace. You have to give yourself grace and patience. Patience. patience yeah. Is everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start crying. Honestly, <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. that's actually, uh -huh. no, cause the thing is I'm, I'm really close with my my parents and yeah. uh when i was younger i didn't think about it as much because i was like yeah. involved in my own 100 percent, yeah but as i'm growing older yeah. it's, it's starting to make me like you know yeah get yeah. like nostalgic and think about them yeah. a lot more and their struggles their journeys yeah. how how they got us here mm -hmm. and now we're getting to yeah. you know definitely use what they've built for us as a launching pad 100 to build on top of yeah and it's just the most beautiful feel. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've been thinking about it a lot too. And I also really want to be a mom. So really? Yeah. When okay. I, when I was like in kindergarten, you know, when they'd ask like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'd be like, I want to be a mom. That's you'd, you'd still want to like do music and like acting. Of course. Like that, of course. Right? Like my career is my priority, but Absolutely. like, I know that I want kids. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. I want kids. I mean, I do have a little baby right now <laughs> Yeah. and she's five years old and she's the sweetest thing. And your cat, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just letting the viewers yes, know. The like, cat. Otherwise, you're gonna get child. all these you get all these rumors that like you're a single mom. And <laughs> a single mom to Sky. <laughs> Put but, a picture of her. <laughs> my little baby. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, she is the best decision I've ever made. I love like taking care of things. Yeah, and, yeah. Mm. Just giving that love and that attention and watching it grow, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. She's blossomed. <laughs> she, she's growing yep, so quickly. Yep. Five years old now. Like, that's, that's insane. Amazing. I can say the same. I have three young children, five, four, and three. And yeah, um, literally, I see my daughter. And she, first two years of her life, she never slept. Like, she would wake up every two hours crying at the top of her lungs. Oh. And she would only want to be rocked by me mm -hmm. a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, she'd want you to do squats up and down, up and down. So I got, like, two in the morning. I was like, she's getting oh, workouts. Wow. Just great workouts. Waking up at four, doing it again. Yeah. And then waking up at six to go to work. And yeah. so like wow. just seeing that and then seeing who, the type of person that she is today, she's like a second mom because I'm her and then I have two boys who yeah. are just crazy. Right. Yeah. But then she's the she's like the glue in between the boys. Oh, just yeah. She's, she's literally like the like like a like a mom to the to the it's kids. Amazing. She's like very wow. understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nurturing. She's a first boy. Yeah. And she knows wow. my tendencies very well. So she'll yeah. warn the boys. She'll be like, hey, you better stop that. Otherwise, dad's wow. going to like, yeah. And it's really dope to see that, you know? Wow. Yeah, so I can relate to that. That's crazy. But Wait, so so I, I had a question about yeah. the, the cat sky. It doesn't go, like, sorry, you don't take her to... Okay. I'm sorry, but can you not say the cat? Yeah, he said it. He, he called he it said an it. it too. Oh, I was talking about the story. I said. <gasps> oh my goodness. I was talking about the story. Oh, yeah, that's that's that's. You can up, say. Man. Oh my god. Uh, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> like no no. no. <laughs> I got your back. Thank you. No back. no no no. So Sky. She's my girl. Cancel. Sky. <laughs> no okay so Sky. Yes. Yeah you could say that too. Sky doesn't go to live with your parents like when you're kind of like okay I need to go to a shoot and I need to shoot for a week. Yeah. How, that's, how, how do you take care of that? Yeah. That, I am actually curious because like you guys are making me want to get a cat. Yeah. So I'm really thinking should, about this. You should just have a baby. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do your drama juice is kicking in too hard. <laughs> 
You switch on legions and everything. <laughs> Still love you, man. Uh, oh, oh, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, honestly. Oh, but, but. but yeah, the way I take care of Sky. So Sky, unfortunately, can't be with other cats anymore because so remember how i was telling you how like we i went to san diego for a bit mm. so i was like with my i was staying with my ex uh well one of my exes the one before <laughs> the, the most recent one <laughs> <laughs> won't get into that <laughs> but okay so i was okay. with him this is a whole story by the way we need to get into this too but um basically he wanted to adopt a cat and we just like went to the shelter and this was this was a huge turning point for me as like a mother to Sky, because like we just introduced that cat and Sky like loved the cat like she was like so friendly like she was licking it cleaning it, but unfortunately that cat had like a lot of diseases and unfortunately passed one on to Sky and oh my god so Sky STDs yeah so Sky no. can't be with the cats back home so that like I can't really yeah. like ever. Oh, bring because her of, into that space uh, because not only can she pass it on to those cats, but it'll stress her out and it could flare up and yeah. um, cause FIP, which is like deadly, a death sentence. No basically. way. And so I would never want to put her at, at risk or in that situation. And that was like oh, such a huge turning point for me. And I'm like, like, I wish that I was more aware of it then, but that's why I'm so protective over her. Like, mm. She's my literal child. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I care about her so much, and yeah. Um, yeah, it was a scary time for sure. Because yeah, do you take her everywhere? Like who who watches her? Yeah, my roommates. Your roommates. Yeah, oh, that's my amazing. roommates okay. amazing. Naomi is amazing. I love her so much. I'm so grateful that our paths crossed, and um, she's an amazing roommate, an amazing friend. But she also loves Sky, and um, if I'm out, like she takes care of Sky for me and feeds her, and yeah. I appreciate that a lot. So that's amazing. Yeah, that's an amazing sentiment, honestly. Yeah, that's cool. How's um? I know you talked about your ex a little bit. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> um, the the thirteen ones. No, I'm scared. <laughs> 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 thirteen, thirteen reasons. Um, how is how is dating life in LA? You come from San Francisco, like how is? That oh my gosh. You? Okay, so well, I didn't date back in the Bay because I was in a relationship when I was there for three years. Yeah. Um. But for three years, I was... <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> more more just, songs coming. <laughs> <laughs> Not about him, though. I'm no, no, I'm talking about what you're, like the dating scene now. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, dating has been interesting. I just got back into dating, I would say, um, just to, like, get out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't dated in a really long time, so I've just been, like, putting myself out there and going on dates yeah. and it's been an interesting are you are you journey. on any dating apps i am unfortunately i feel that so but like, i would mm-hmm. love to meet someone just organically, just organically you right know? that's like, that's my thing i always tell him that too because like he's like hop on a dating app and i haven't okay. dated anybody in like three and a half years uh-huh. right like purposely because like i don't use the dating apps people. yeah i'm like i just want to bump into somebody at like sprouts or something and, but the thing know, is though like <laughs> shit, right right, right. But it just doesn't yeah. happen yeah. <laughs> no the the reason i say bro she lives in west l.a she has a lot more opportunities to bump into people absolutely because there are more people that live there yeah i'm not gonna bump right. anybody here yeah you I literally live that on top of a mountain suburbs yes so it's there's, gonna be difficult so you, so so you <laughs> You're gonna find chipmunks in your backyard, but you're not gonna find anybody walking down the street. So yes. let's. Wait, well, you could probably get into onto Raya. Have oh, you tried that? Raya? What's it's Raya? Like what's a Raya? Celebrity dating app. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. You're like the second person who's told me about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You could like apply. Are you on it? You have to apply to get on a yeah. date. Yes, yes, what? yes, yes. You have I'm to be like on. of like a certain caliber. I know people have told. She's me. putting you on, bro. My roommate's on it though, and Ooh. she really likes it. So. You can it's it's, that. it's like That's real, real, right? True, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're, you, somebody told me about this, like I want to say a year or so ago. Okay. And I wrote it down, and then I never thought about it again. Download it right now. <laughs> Pull out your phone. Pull out your phone. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll chat afterwards. <laughs> Off camera. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I feel that, like you know, going back out there and just meeting people. And yeah, and it's been interesting navigating it because. 
I don't know, like men just don't ask you questions about yourself. They don't? No. What do you mean? Oh, it's been a journey. They don't feel the onion? No. I, they don't break the ice? <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> but I know that there's someone out there for me. And when it's the right time, it'll happen. It'll happen. It'll happen. You know, like I'm not in a rush. I'm focused on myself and pouring yeah. energy into yeah. myself. And that's like what I've been doing. Absolutely. And I love it. I'm like a very independent person. And when I have someone with me, like I already have Sky, and I love taking care of her and I love taking care of anyone that I care about. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, it takes a lot of energy, you know? It does, and, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I think like when it's the right time, like things will fall into place and I just trust. That's exactly what I was going to say. You got to trust yeah. the process because it, it's, it's interesting how the world works. Cause a lot of times when you keep trying to do something and putting so much energy into it because you think that's the outcome for you. Yeah. A lot of times that's not it's true. Not, it's the, not. The universe has something else for you. Yeah. And when you pour time into yourself and your money and resources into yourself mm -hmm. to grow and understand who you are better, you automatically attract the people 100%. that are that are supposed to be in your life. Whether it's yeah. friends, whether it's somebody you want to be with. Yeah. Just et cetera, right? So yeah. it's you gotta you gotta pour your pour into yourself. Yeah. That's all that matters. I agree with that a hundred percent. With that being said, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate your time. Yay. So cute. So cute. So so you finally got your name thank by the you. end of the podcast. I was practicing. My head <laughs> oh, yeah? Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been enchanting. Thank you for being yeah, here. Yeah, no, we're really excited to see your journey. You got to keep us posted. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. I can't wait till your song drops, honestly. Yeah. We'll be bumping it everywhere. Oh, yeah. I want to hear it again. We'll advertise it. Yes. You better learn all the lyrics. All right. Yes. We'll do a duet. It. And then, like, we'll ne do it. next time next time we're on a road trip, we're just going to be singing that just song on repeat with lyrics. No, you don't, you don't like to travel with me anymore. I don't like to travel with you no. anymore? I said road trip. I offered that as well. Let's just table that conversation <laughs> for afterwards. <laughs> Wait, where are you guys going? Vegas. Oh, my gosh, fun. You want to come? I want to go to Vegas. Let's go. It'd be fun. Wait, we'll actually. It. We'll do a podcast on the way there. Oh, Wait, that'd I'm be so awesome. down. That'd be so fun. And then, dude, we'll just sing the whole time. We'll just sing your song. Well, That's going to be a whole yeah, podcast. Literally. We're going to sit in the car and we're going to play your song on repeat and we're just going to sing it on top of our Yeah, we'll take your Prius. <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> Fuel efficiency, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Best car is a paid off car. <laughs> and we'll uh, make it back. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your time, everybody. Right, Have a good one. Thank you. Right. Drift away.